Hello everyone and welcome back to my Scrolls playthrough. Last time I built a growth starter deck for you guys. It cost about 4,000 gold or just under. Uh, we went through a few of the AI games or the easy AI uh, and we did a few of the daily trials as well. So this is yesterday's or today's. Why did I say yesterday's? I meant last video's uh, trials. Whatever. Uh, didn't manage to do this on video but it took me a couple more tries after I stopped recording and I finally managed to beat this one. So we got about 700 gold, I think it was, which is quite nice. Uh, maybe even 800. Not quite a lot of gold for that. Um, it turns out not destroying creatures enchanted with heritage is a good idea. So, yeah, stick with that plan if that ever comes up. So today, we're going to be looking at uh, all these down here. These are your regular trials, which you can only do once, but you get 250 gold for every single one you beat. Uh, medium ones, you get a bit more. Hard ones, yeah, you can get a lot. Uh... One of them has a thousand. Which one was it? Was it any of these? Pestilence. 1200. Yes. That's a hard one. Uh, so there's lots of gold on offer here. Great way to build up uh, your gold collection, if you will. Um, yeah, so. Don't know how many of these we'll get through today. Uh, but we shall see. So, the first trial is. An insult. That's a good way to start, isn't it? Uh, I'm not going to read through all this text here on every single one, but for purpose of it being the first one we're going to be doing, I will do this time. Uh, a cocky spirit tosses jibes as you wander past his shack. At first you ignore the taunts, he's too weak to be of any concern to you. But they increase in volume and become more offensive, escalating into unconfirmed claims about close family members. What? On a dictates, you teach this guy a lesson. So, the background has been set. Trial details. Destroy three of your opponent's idols to win. Your opponent idols start with just five health, so instead of a ten, they're at five health, so um, it should be easy. Uh, you begin the battle with two pre-deployed eternal statues. We get 250 gold for winning this one. So we're going to be using um, the growth deck we've got last game. Last game. Last video, sorry. I'm really not with this. Um, uh, do we keep his hands? Yeah, let's keep it. System for foxes. Draw some cards. Uh, I don't like playing Ragged Wolf, just turn one by the way, so don't do that. Uh, you want to use it as uh, sniper opponent's creatures, if you can. Use it with combinations of enchantments and crimson balls to take out things. Usually a good idea. Um, let's see what we draw. Uh, ball Keeper, get away. Oh, that's annoying, I want to kill this, but I can't get to it. So next turn maybe another brother of a wolf. Wow, he's buffing that up. Okay. Um. Actually, you know what? For the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep that ragged wolf. I mean, the crimson bullet for Earth and Earth. Because I want to show you why keeping hold of ragged wolves is a good idea. So it can only be the fact that this is a huge 610. Um, <laughs> that kind of uh, complicates matters. Um, see, what you can do is you can do things like this. And he's got suddenly 6 hasted damage instead of, well, just those two attacking. So that's why it's a good idea to keep a hold of Ragged Wolves. So I could have gone Ragged Wolf over Murph, for example, for hasted 5 damage, which would have been quite, quite strong as well. Um, can I kill the Vader? I can if I played Rallying. In fact, I could probably just win. Um, let's see. I'll do this along with this. Is that a win? That is a win. <laughs> so that was easy. <laughs> Seven turns. The power of wolves. So completing these trials as well do count towards the end goal of... Um, unlocking the starter decks, so um, we should have got a tick off the box for that. Well, we were playing growth, against growth, so we wouldn't, would we? I'm smart, but yeah, these will count towards that. Uh, let's look at the second one. Pile of junk. Your opponent's idols start with just 8 health. Your opponent begins to battle with a junkyard. Okay. Let's get through this one then. So he's got a junkyard, it gives rats plus 1 attack and plus 1 health. Um, 
Let's go with Ancestral Totem. That's my first instinct. And we'll just kind of curve up here. Yeah, Pull Keeper into Sister of Bear into Kinfoot Vessel. And we can take out this, and then next turn we can play Kinfoot Vessel as well, which is pretty good. Um, so Sister of Bear this turn. Okay, so I can't quite take both of them out. I can take one of them. Um, we'll go with this. Wildling! Oh no! What am I going to do? Maybe I'll just kill it. We'll just play a few more things. Make Keeper huge. Right, uh, Earth and Mirth go away. Champion Ring can go on the Keeper because it's got more health. Uh, we want to protect this as well. So I think we'll do it like this, something along those lines. We're doing quite a bit of damage now. Sister of the fox. Do, 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 do. Uh, can I win this turn? That might seem a bit odd, but I might be able to. Um, let me see. Can I can I maths this correctly? Um, I believe I can maths it correctly. How about that? Is that a win? Look at that. Sneaky lethal with Earthborn Keepers. Another one down. Do 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 do. Another one bites the dust. Hey. Uh, testing ground. Your opponent's idle start with just eight health. Your opponent begins to battle with two growth resources. How dare it. Um, so this hand will keep. Um, we'll get rid of the Ragdoll here, actually. <laughs> Death Cap Berserk. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Another one? What the hell? What is this? I'm confused. How does it do? Okay. Let's see if it plays another one. Ha! Huh. Yeah, nothing about your death cap is exciting. Um, do you know what, actually? Sod it. Let's just have a big kinfet break. Okay, that was a stupid idea. I really want to make a rat deck sometime, but there's not enough rats in the game, I don't think. About a year, well, more than a year ago now, I was asking Bond, saying, can we have something like a rat king? Yeah. And... I mean, Mons, if you don't know, is the lead developer on Scrolls now. Um, I, was chatting, I was saying, I want some sort of rat boss, you know, something I'll get like a rat version of Great Wolf, if you like. Something that would be amazing. So you play it, summons rats, and it gets buffed. I don't know. Something amazing. And uh, yeah, we've got the spell instead, so my psychic ability is almost there. I think we can play Gusty here. I fancy a bit of Gusty. That could be misinterpreted. Let 
play Ancestral Totem next week. Ne next week. Next, I think. Oh, no, Rally. I like Rally. Rally's good. Uh, let's see. Is there a sneaky win here? Um, might be... I'm not doing too bad with spotting lethals today. What's going on? All right. <laughs> that wasn't the toughest, but... No. <laughs> you should just kind of <laughs> never look for it. Okay, so that's Ulf, Ulf down. 311 gold. That's not too bad. Men at arms. That might get a feel what he's done in this video, actually. Your opponent's idols begin with just five health. Your opponent begins with battle with three royal infantrymen. Okay, this will be a bit tougher. So royal infantrymen buffs the health of creatures on the same row that they control. So these will be on a loss of health uh, very shortly. Uh, I'm not going to play Vator World this turn because you could just die. We'll wait for him to move first. Okay. Um, oh my. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just play Brave, I think. It's tempting to go Vator Ragged just to get some resources, but... I think we'll live we'll just for brave going on here. And then I can go a ragged evator here, and that will take out the Royal Infantryman. And I'll set up a Vetter next turn. Get back here, you stupid thing. There we are. Probably just start concentrating on his idols now, actually. Oh. Yeah, I won't be playing any of that. I'm not really in the mood. Um, let's play that and do some damage. Might be able to win next turn. He stops me. He stopped me. Okay. Well, um, I think this will be a crimson ball turn. Actually, we'll take out the elders this way, and we can set up these to take out this one down here. Ideally, I'd want the brave attacking. I I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, the AI's just let me win, so that's promising. Let's move this there. And that's that one taken down. Good game, good game, good game. 258 gold. All just starts deck almost up to 4,000 gold, so almost got enough gold to, well, build a new deck. Come on, men at war. There you go. Okay, so he starts... I didn't read out what it was. Uh, but he starts with two of these, which is good. Uh, but we start off with some resources, so we can just play Brave. Uh, from memory, these don't really move. They just stay there. and <laughs> We don't have, really have to worry about them too much. Um, so we'll just build up our forces, I think. Do even start rushing him down, which I think we will do. Um, it seems like the Senate is a threat, because he can sack itself and kill my Brave. Uh, but other than that, I'm not too worried. Hopefully he doesn't see the play. Nah, we'll save that for next turn. <laughs> what am I thinking? <laughs> Don't do it. No, 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 no. Well, that's spot that. Um, we can bash in here though. I keep hold of these. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, we'll ragged crimson here, and then next turn we'll ragged crimson. That should be enough to win. At least that's the plan. Plan has worked. 
Modern AI. Okay, let's play if you can fit better. When in doubt, rush down idols. I'm playing. Okay. Ooh, heck. Plenty of achievements. Uh, men of Faith. I'll read out this time. Destroy three of your opponent's idols to win. Your opponent begins to battle with a pre deployed shrine and three Sinmark Zealots. 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 Rather. Uh, good luck, have fun. Thank you very much. We're going to mulligan this. That looks a bit better. So, this trial, these will just kill themselves. Um, so you can just pay down fodder like Sister the Fox and they'll just destroy themselves. Um, I'll play a range of this turn mode because you can just kill Sister the Fox by moving it down. Oh, he's not doing it. Okay. Fine! Don't do the wrong thing. Um, let's go with Breaker. Got some big nasties on the board. Hmm. These shrines could be a bit of a problem. No matter. Um, yeah, why not? Let's get in there. We shall counter his health buffs with attack buffs. God. Plate armor. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um... I'll do this. Got a few enchantments for next turn as well, it's quite good. Um Yeah. Um I think I'll go with this. So that kills that, that kills that. And he's got these three things to go off. Um so I don't really want to play champion ring, actually, I've changed my mind. Okay, it's blown a few things up. Uh, we can kill this this turn. And we're ready to start attacking idols and win, because he's not really putting too much resistance. Could have a I'll wait. Oh my, how am I going to take out that? There you go. Get in for a lot of damage now. Um, Ragdorf can take out the shrine. Can take out this idol. Move that up as well. We'll play the gusty. No, that is the idea of the game. Ish. There you go. Easy win. Two hundred and sixty gold. Thank you very much. Order star deck three out of five. Men of faith. That's what we just did. Why is not updated? Update, please. Is it the same? It is the same. Okay, I think I'm just going to relog out. Log out. What was that? I think I'll just log out of scores and relog, and hopefully. Um, it will reconnect. It does this sometimes. I don't know why. It just seems to disconnect. Um, so, relog time. Right, we're back and there you go. It's updated. So, we're on to, on to uh, a barrage of bunnies now. Uh, your opponent begins to battle with three junk cars and three bunnies. So, this is a fun one. It's just lots of bunnies spawning everywhere. Now, there's nothing you can do about it apart from destroying them. Um, so, who am playing here? Pie Beagle here, actually. See if we can find something to play other than Vader. Okay, so we'll go Vader here, then next to insist of Bear. We can start bashing in. 
So Frost Gale is quite a good card for this trial. <laughs> Frost Gales and Quakes, but we can't really afford them yet. Kinfet Vessel is also good, so we can play Kinfet Vessel here to kill this, so we can take out a bunny. I don't know why I'm holding on to Earth and Earth, but sod it. I'm not in the mood for thinking. It's vitality while I was not doing much, is it? Um, double Earth and Earth, very fun. Ancestral uh, Totem is better than nothing, I guess. And we can take out a, a bunny as well. I should draw a keeper or a brave so we can stick an earth move on it, I guess. I'm not used to, to being on the score and not seeing a tab to see some stats for it. Uh, oh, there's a brave. Um, let's build up something up here, shall we? And now all the bunnies are going to multiply and. Oh god, I'm only going to face eight. Don't kill my beta. Fine, um, Breaker, we will keep you. Keepers are even better, in fact. So keep them. Um, we'll take out the Vitality Well, we can take out a few Bunnies as well. And a Junkie Lounge. Let's keep our Keepers going because they can attack each turn. And one damage is all we need to take out the bunny, so that'll be fine. Okay, so we'll play another one. Take out more bunnies. Imagine if Junkyards gave the buff to uh, bunnies instead of rats. That would be quite interesting. And bunnies still multiplied, of course. They wouldn't, but you know what I mean. And Sessual Totem, let's play another one. Let's take out some bunnies. Should probably be attacking Andals by now, but I want to kill each one of them. Because I'm evil and mean. Um, I haven't really got to play this turn yet. Oh, there you go, that's what we want. Uh, so now I can go Ragged Breaker to buff up everything. I should be able to win this turn, hopefully. What's about doing this? Let's take out two idols. There we are. Bunny's down. I didn't kill the last bunny. Oh, I failed. Oh, God, I have to do it again now. I'm kidding. <laughs> Good. So that's all the bunnies dead ish. Now we've got two. Death from above. Now this is one that some people do actually struggle with, so I think we'll try and think through this one. I'll right, keep a hand. Uh, so the reason that people struggle with this one is we keep on playing creatures in this zone here. As you can see, just by highlighting every cast pot of goo, you can see where they're going to land. So basically don't play any creatures in any of these spaces here. And that is how you beat the trial. Let's avoid those bases. Stick to the edges. Could I actually play Sister Fox Face for a while there. That might have been better. Um, do you really want to play Brave, so I'm going to play Ancestral Totem this turn. Play it next turn. Don't know why I sacked resources there. 
that was a mistake. I kind of wanted to tap the scrolls, but I thought for some reason I was on three resources. Didn't really think about that. Oh no, I'm whip. <laughs> okay, um, that's all of them down. Okay, that was easy. And now we're sort of home three, just to tap the idols. Three with a th. It would appear. I need to try and remember how to speak in videos again. <laughs> oh, practically a month off is kind of rendered me a bit tongue tied. Uh, Uma, okay. Let's play you. Because you're fair. Oh, and Villa Blast. Wasn't expecting that. Didn't make much difference for you, so I just win. Yeah, we are. Hey, right. Entry starter? Oh, good. Well, since we're in a lot of the entry starter, I'll do a, a deck for that, I think. Um, unless that happens before we finish all these trials, in which case I'll do it afterwards. Uh, destroy three infant of any enter battle with two health. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, tile. Uh, no, go away hand. Oh, much better. One. Two, three, yeah. We have the plan all set out. Deadly Maya Shambler. You know what? We're just going to go Braves all the time. <laughs> I'm, in the, I'm in a mood for Kim Braves. Braves. Oh, the piano started great. I don't get any peace in this house at all. Oh well, let's try and speak up. Um, I'm just going to play the Kinfoot Wrestling for no reason whatsoever. I'm not going to bother attacking that, I'm just going to go for idols now. Now we can for brave, let's just play. <laughs> I told you I'm in the mood. <laughs> it reminds me of like, a horrible start. It's about a year and a half ago now. I was in a Scrolls Card tournament. I think it was. There's a lot of people. It's about 60, maybe 80 people in the tournament. It's quite a lot. Um, it was the first big Scrolls tournament. I was streaming, I had about 200 people watching. And, oh god. I am playing against a guy called Slin, who was one of the best players at the time. Um, and he always had the wall over me and I was sort of well it's the quarterfinals and I was really really tired I've been playing about six hours and um, Decay was the flavour of the month at that time because Puppet Soldier uh, could still be used with nutrition which meant you play Puppet Soldier you play nutrition you gain three Decay resources or you gain the resources back and you destroy a row which was unfair as you can tell uh, so he was playing that sort of decay, and being the sort of guy that I was, I was, I just kind of decided, sod it, I'm going to play a deck without it and prove that you don't need to run any deck to be successful. So I run Draining Mist instead, ran rather, and did well, got to the quarterfinal, faced against him, won the first game somehow, uh, won the, uh, lost the second game, it was very close though. Um, and the final game, he switched to Growth, because apparently you were allowed to do that, and he went turn 1 of A to turn... Two brave, turn three double brave, turn four kinfoot veteran. I think it was, and that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was just like, oh, okay. Well, that was a good way to finish off that that, that match. Okay, so that was upsetting. I was, I was the last streamer going as well. Uh, oh, Radigast. Hmm. Thought it was one of my accounts for a minute. Um, where are we now then? Caller's boon. Both uni opponents begin with a battle with five resources. Okay. My first growth deck. Oh, we're keeping this hand. Definitely keeping this hand. Uh, let's get rid of the Kinfoot Ranger. I want Sister of Foxes and many other. Oh, I'm actually starting on a lot of resources. Shows how much attention I pay, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, we're up to seven now. Uh, 
actually in, in games where you start with resources I recommend playing like four colored decks just fill them with really expensive stuff because you start off with three of, five of each resource so it's really good what do they look like honestly Oh god, okay, so this could actually be a challenge. Um, let's see. Uh, Ancestral Totem is basically the killer of Decay. <laughs> you play Ancestral Totem and you win. So we'll do that. Sadly, the sister of Air is going to die. Rottius is pretty good against growth, so we'll keep, try and kill that next. Uh, Kid for Vessel was a good draw. Um, right, then we go with the Ragged Wolf. Kinfit Veteran, Breaker, Ranger play. That famous uh, lineup. Let's just take out the Hunter, which is good. Okay, just can't get rid of Ancestral Hutton. Unless it's slashing a road, but it's not, so we're gonna be fine. Another one, excellent. Uh, let's just play everything then. Not really gonna bother attacking things now. Well, actually, I kind of need to, don't I? Take out the husk. Uh, let's see if we can draw a Crimson Ball. No. Anything big? Another Brave. Excellent. Uh, do I have Lethal here? Let's have a look. No, I don't. Um, I can summon a Ragged Wolf. Let's try to fill up my board. Is that a good idea? Let's do it. Why not? There we are. Okay. So we can't do anything now. We can't move. So we just got to basically end our garage turn until we win. Might just be this turn. There we are. Rallying ends it. Grand. Four idols down. Get a bit more gold for that. That's good. Dedicated. That's what we like to see. Uh, two to go. Defender of the Crown. Your units enter board with haste. Your opponent begins to battle with one Gallant Defender. All idols begin to battle with six health. Okay, so we'll just bash in here, I guess. I mean, you can, this is a good try to adapt your deck. You can put in Frostbeards and just take out these idols straight away. I'm not going to do that because I'm a bit of an idiot. So, um, But you can if you want. So I believe I can just get away with bashing in on idols throughout the entire game. At least I should be able to. Well, that's a bit annoying. Um, I'll do that, take out the idols still. One idol down. It's just so easy to outpace your opponent when all your creatures have got haste. So the fried all down, let's get a break out of the brother wolf, that's what we'd like to see. And do damage to this one up here. Not gonna bother summoning a ragged wolf, we just want the damage. Okay, so that's a win. Um let's take out the rider. One to go. 
Thomas got the order start attack. Downhill, your units enter board with three extra move. Okay, so this is an interesting one. I play this one quite a lot, and every single time I play it, I forget that we've got all this extra move. So we'll try and play it as if we're remembering that we have it. So, let's see, so we can just basically play all our creatures on the side and then move into the middle if we need to. Or just run away if we need to. So, Kintet Brave will rule the day. Okay, Kintet Brave, in you go. Uh, now, this is against energy, so you can remove things, so I'm not going to go for a super brave strategy here. Ooh, Ivy. Earthborn Keeper, so we'll play over Murph next turn, I think. We'll just get on with it. He doesn't seem to even move for a second for resources. Another Brave, that's good. More of a merrier. Oh, another one. <laughs> Let's go with that then. Elevator. So we should just win next turn. Unless he has some removal. Nope, good. Easy as you like. That should be the energy one unlocked as well. So that'll be a good thing to do for next video. So there you have it. That is all the easy trials done. And we've unlocked the energy starter deck, which is awesome. So that puts us on 6,313 gold, which is quite a lot. So you can see how much gold we've had. So we've probably got to about 10,000 gold so far, or close to that. So that's not bad considering all we've done is, well, the tutorials, the trials, the, easy tri the daily trials, and the easy trials. So we've still got plenty to go here. But we've got a pretty awesome deck. We've unlocked the energy starter deck already. Uh, so it's all looking very good for the future. So... Um, in between this video and my next video, I'm going to um, just play some AI games and look to unlock all of these. So we've got four more Start Decay games to go, and one more Order one. And then we can maybe look at um, building a deck for those and playing the trials through them, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that. Uh, in the comment section, if you could say which deck you want me to play next, whether it's Energy, Order or Decay, uh, then we'll look to build a deck for that. So uh, yeah. Until then, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.